Someone recently reached out to me and said, hey, why am I getting so many workflow emails? Hi, this is Alicia, and today I want to talk to you about workflow emails in Microsoft Dynamics D365 Finance and Supply Chain. So this particular user was asking me very specifically, why am I getting an email every time a workflow is started, every time it's completed, every time it's rejected? And I want to show you that there's some settings on the workflow that control this. So if you happen to be getting lots of emails um, or someone in your organization is getting a lot of emails, one, you'll see those emails under system administration, set up email, email history. Um, but they're also probably complaining about it or expressing to you the fact that they're getting all these emails. So I want to show you where that setup is done so you can then control when the emails go and if you want to turn them on or off. So inside of a workflow, um, again, if you're in Microsoft Dynamics D365 Finance and Supply Chain, you just go to whichever workflow that you're interested in um, and you click on the ID and it's going to actually open the workflow itself. So when you're on the workflow, you'll notice at the top there's something called properties. So again, at this point, I'm not on a node. I'm just on the workflow itself. When I click on properties here, it's going to open up a screen and it's going to have basic settings, activation, notifications, and notes. So under this notifications, this is where you can tell it to send you an email when the workflow is completed, when it started, when it stopped, when it's terminated, or if it's unrecoverable. So if you wanted to get an email when it started, you could say start, you can put whatever if content you want in the body of the email, and then you could say who the recipient is. So just know, and then over here, you can say the workflow user, if it's the originator or owner, based on what you selected here. Lots of times people will pick a user and have these go to like an admin account or something like that, specifically if the workflow has stopped or terminated. Um, the other thing you can also do if you're on a node, so you actually double click on a node, you'll notice that you have um, this basic settings, assignment, condition, an escalation here. Actually, let me back up one. You'll see the properties here as well. Uh, let's see, I'm in the wrong spot. It does matter where your mouse is at. So if you click here, you can see the menu at the top changes, or if you click off. So here it is, notifications. So that's for this specific node. So if the notification for this specific node is approved, delegated, escalated, rejected, or request change, you can do that selection there. So you can do it at the node level uh, for certain things, approval, again, you see the list here, but there's also selection for the, the workflow itself. So you can say level up in the upper left-hand corner to get back, and then this is the properties where you can tell it, again, you wanna be clicking out of the box go to notifications, and this is where you can say complete, started, stopped, or terminated. So you have a lot of control over who sees, gets emails um, at the different stages of the workflow. So I hope this is helpful.